Hey everyone, I'm back to bring you guys a brand new episode installment of Kessin 2 and it's going to be brought to you guys by Game81.com. Okay, so I'm done with the Battle of Bonwa Po. Now I'm going to go into the next battle, which is going to be shown in a couple of seconds. But I just got to say right now, I am really loving how I'm just uploading these videos now. Or how I'm recording these videos each day. Oh, Battle of Chang Pombo. Oh, it's basically the battle where Yubei tries to retreat to Wu. Following his victory at Chang Ban Po, Cao Cao remains in the area, waiting. Cao Cao's plan is to join forces with his valiant general Zhang Liao and strike both the Jing province and Sun Quan's kingdom of Wu. Real risky doing that. I mean, there's a good chance they can double team on you. Let the meeting begin. Everyone lay out and of course, your the ideas. devious one's going to lay out the ideas too. A lot of the farmland in this territory has been turned into wasteland from lack of cultivation during the war. Let's increase the harvest yields by rounding up refugees to work the land. Let's tell Liu Bei's soldiers that if they defy the mandate of heaven, they will suffer heaven's wrath. Liu Bei's army will be consumed with... Of course. <laughs> Just of course. Both Wu and Jing province are powerful enemies. Who will be difficult to defeat. Our troops will need more training before they can return to battle. Sire, what do you wish us to do? Okay, well, let's see. Forcing refugees to form, threaten enemy troops, train troops. Uh, let me check info. Okay, good. Yubei, um, you know, Yubei isn't equally matched with Cao Cao yet. I just had a feeling that the game was going to make Yubei strong enough to the point where he balanced out with Cao Cao. Especially early out in this campaign here. But anyway, I'm thinking of actually threatening the enemy troops. Just to lower the morale to make the battle more quicker. So let's go ahead and do this. I've made up my mind. We will be victorious. I can't believe I'm actually following the devious one's plan. Oh god, what's wrong with me? Yeah. They can't sleep because they're terrified of the wrath of heaven. <laughs> so, like frightened sheep, many of them will simply flee the battlefield at the first opportunity that they have. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but uh, I got a feeling that it's just because of the food poisoning that they've eaten. Or something, I don't know. I don't think it's the, the mandate of heaven or the wrath of heaven or whatever. But they are going to flee, so that should be good. Receiving a report that Liu Bei's army has fled to Jia Ko, Cao Cao launches an invasion of the Jing province without waiting for Zhang Liao's forces. Ouch, rushing it. In an attempt to finish off Liu Bei's army, Cao Cao himself leads a pursuit party. They approach Liu Bei's main unit. Zhu Niu. Summon Yao Chan from the capital. My lord, is Yao Chan all that you can think about right now? Just go get her. My lord, you have changed so much. Why are you only concerned with what happens to Yao Chan? She's just a common prisoner. If you push her enough, she'll tell you where to find the Imperial Seal. <laughs> what? Did I ask for your opinion? Do you? Tell me, are you serving me as a warlord or as a woman? I must know the truth. Speak to me now. I will, I. I am a warlord, not a woman. My lord. My lord, the rest of the north has been suppressed. Oh. Ah, Zheng Liao. I'm relieved to see you back. Zhu Niu, prepare for the war council. Don't let your emotions get in the battle. That's how I always say it. Commence the war council. Report on your situation. According to the scouting unit's report, the enemy presently occupies this position. It seems that Liu Bei and his troops are trying to escape to the territory of Sun Quan. Okay, just as we all expected. None really else to say here. I mean, I think we all know that we did. I did this before in a Yubei campaign. There's none really else I can say. 
And of course, it looks like that you base going through the forest. I believe there was an option of you choosing to go through the forest during the war council in that battle in the U base campaign. You can either just go to the left or go straight down, but it looks like you base going through the forest. Just like how I did it. And I'm assuming that the mines are there too, I wonder? Who knows? In order for us to win this battle, General Liu Bei's unit must be forced to retreat at once. He's doing that right now. But if Liu Bei succeeds in getting to this point, then we will definitely lose. If my lord has to flee, then we will lose as well. Okay then. Pretty obvious. State your strategies. Please listen to my humble strategy. If we all take a roundabout road, the danger is that the enemy might slip right by us. What I think is, you should enter the forest over here. If we split off and attack Liu Bei from here, he will be hit from both sides. I think this would be our best strategy. My lord, I think we should do precisely the opposite. Let's avoid the forest where we could be trapped or ambushed. Instead, let's attack in two groups like this. My lord's main unit breaks through here and waits in ambush for Liu Bei. Lord Zheng Liao's detachment will break through here and attack Liu Bei from the rear. With this strategy I have devised, I think we can certainly defeat Liu Bei. My lord, which strategy will you have us employ? Okay, well, honestly, I think pursuing the shortest route would actually be the, the best way to go, honestly. You know, it's, like I said, basically we're just going to have to chase down Yu Bei, even though he already is retreating, as we were supposed to do. So, I think it's probably best we go with Jiang Yao's plan here, and not Jun Yu's. Jun Yu, Jun Yu, Jun Yu. I gotta start pronouncing that name correctly. So, let's go ahead and do this one here. Let's use this strategy. Here's hoping I don't screw this up somehow. I mean, I'm grateful that this is a very different, you know, mission objective here in this battle. Instead of having taken out the main forces, uh, well, actually, we do have to take out the main general, which is Yubei, but this time he's retreating. He's actually facing towards us, and trying to take us down. So, this is a good little substitute, I guess. Alright, battle start. Let's do this. More soldiers have deserted? They're panicked by the enemy, sir. I don't know how to say it. It's more and more each day. Oh, no, that cow cow. What uh, Blame Chain Jew, that was the one who did it. Okay? All cow cow's doing is just following orders. Okay, first things first. Let me just go ahead and do this because, uh, see, it's like my controller's malfunctioning again because it's always going now to the back. Okay, there. Now that you solved the problem, perfect, it did. Alright, so I don't want Cow Cow leading the way, I want him behind. Uh, okay, you Jin, you probably should be the one to do it. Just in case if uh, a certain trap were to be activated or set off. I mean, clearly no one wants that to happen to Cow Cow. I mean, of course, Zeb would be saying that I were to know that there was some type of a trap happening or some type of. I don't know, like a minefield or whatever? I mean, I'm just saying, it's not like I would actually know whatsoever. Hint, hint. Okay, so you can actually see Yubei over here, or I did see Yubei. But now he just disappeared off the face of the map. But don't worry, we're bound to see him, it's only a matter of time. And looky what we found here, people! So it looks like there were traps. Mine's to be more precise. Well, it's a shame that I actually didn't see it come. Okay, I'm going to stop being an asshole because, come on now, who didn't see this coming? If you watched the earlier episodes where I did this, you've seen the, that the mines were set. But uh, now that we got rid of the mines, I think I can safely say that all the cow cow soldiers can go through without having to worry about them. So we'll just go ahead and let all this play out. Let's see over here. Well, it looks like there's a battle going on between Guan Pin and that woman. I, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but I do know it's, I know exactly who she is. Oh, a new enemy's approaching. So I'm assuming it's Guan Yu then? 
<laughs> That's kind of sweet, father and son teaming up to take down an enemy. Even if that enemy's a woman, per se. Because that sounds totally wrong. If you put it in a different context, of course. Oh, shit, there's a lot of them. Oh, what's going on here? Deja vu, anyone? Look who it is, people! Yep, basically the same cutscene from the one in Yubei's campaign. Nothing really new about that, honestly. Maybe they might show a cutscene of Cow Cow's reaction? Because remember, in the Yubei campaign, they show Lu Gagion going back to Yubei. So I'm assuming maybe since we're in Cow Cow's campaign, they'll show a cutscene of Cow Cow's reaction? Okay, so I want to go over here for a minute. In fact, let me go ahead and go out to the map here. Because I want to get. Uh, Jun Yu, or yeah, Jun Yu. I'll just say Jun Yu, screw it. I want to get her going over this way because I want them to take different routes so that way we can just find uh, Yubei a little bit more quickly. I just pray to God he doesn't get over here because if he does, whoo, that'd be a real pain in my ass because then I would have to do this level all over again. I mean, there's no checkpoints in a game like this. You know, if you fail, you start all the way over. That's the thing. All right, I'll check out Cow Cow for a minute, who probably already has his helmet on. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. Can't seem to do so. It's Guan Yu. Everyone, prepare yourselves. So Zhang Liao, just you wait. Oh, looks like there's some type of pass with that. Uh oh, cutscene coming up. <laughs> Look who it is, everyone. If it isn't Stephen Bum, we're voicing Guan Yu. Oh, epic battle going on. I trust you've been well since we last met. We haven't fought in ten years. <laughs> yes, that was Overall woman, woman, people. Oh shit. Hmm? On you. I'm beginning to see. You let me win that day, didn't you? Cheng Liao, take good care of that woman. I mean your wife. Oh, wow. I really do like this scene here, too. Jeez, that, that really shows up a lot of backstory right there between us two. It makes you wonder what exactly happened. But considering the fact that you know, Guan Yu hold back and let Zhang Liao win 10 years, it probably is assumed that the woman loved Zhang Liao more than Guan Yu. So I guess that's probably the only reason why he let him live right now today. Because if he killed him, then I'm pretty sure that would have made Jian Liao's wife pretty sad. And of course, that would have made him sad in a way. Because, you know, when you love someone, you want to do whatever you can to make them happy. Yeah, and such. So if, you know, making that woman happy by going over to a person that she loves, I guess, I guess that made Guan Yu happy then. Wow. I think I actually analyzed that scene a lot. Or actually analyzed it so deep. <laughs> oh, great. More mines was activated. Oh, shit. Was that Cow Cow? Damn it. I think it was. I thought that was the only mine up there. How much is he losing here? Oh, oh God. He lost half. <laughs> I know, right? Looks like my cockiness got the better of me and bite me back in the ass. It doesn't matter because I'm soon about to get Cow Cow. Or not get Cow Cow, get Yubei. Because the second I get Yubei into a battle, I'll just get my other enemies, other soldiers, not enemies. I'll get the other allies to just go ahead and surround Yubei. It's that simple. Pretty easy plan. So until that happens, uh, Kimiko, what are you doing over here? Also, if you look back at the in this battle right here over in Yubei's campaign, Kimiko was right over here at the checkpoint. Or at that destination point. She was blocking you base path. But I guess she's going to be starting here then. So I'll go ahead and I will start things off with a good old fashioned raid. For the Empire. Make way for Let me go ahead and just take out these guys here. 
Yeah, consider it payback on you. Humiliate you and me, why don't you? Take all these guys out, perfect. That's all. You are nothing. Okay, so it took a few hundred out, but Jesus Christ, why well, use morale just all the way up? Near maximum. It's gonna take a lot more than that to take him down. Uh, so we could just go ahead and... Can I get... I wonder if I can get Kaorin into the middle right here in this narrow passage. Second thought? No. No, that's probably not going to work. I'll probably just go ahead and get Kimiko to double team on Guan Yu since it's probably for the best. If she can get through here. Because if it's not, then that's going to suck here. Because if she can't get through, then I might just have to go this pathway over here. In fact, let me go ahead and do that with Kaorin actually. I mean, Saint Fei is over there, but I think Cal Ray can survive against Saint Fei. All right, I really do hope that Cal Cal gets to Yu Bay. Otherwise, it would really suck, and it looks like that's gonna happen. Okay, good, perfect. <laughs> Didn't even see it coming. Look at all those question marks on there. That makes Metal Gear. The guys over at Metal Gear Solid look proud. Or look stupid. Or embarrassed or something. I don't know. I'm just spewing out shit. Hey, I finally got a hold of Cow Cow. It looks like he still has his helmet on. Alright then. Uh, let's see. Battle Cry. No. Where's Cow Boo? Hey, Cow Boo. What's up, buddy? Oh, and all you guys are rally. I should have expected this. I mean, Cow Cow is just like you, Bay, In a way. When it comes to skills and such. He doesn't have magic attacks. And I'm kind of glad he doesn't have magic attacks, because that'd be really out of character in a way. I mean, considering his personality and the way he fights, uh, you know, it would be really out of character if he were to use magic. Fire! Oh, what's going on here? So I believe arrows are being fired, I assume? Because, you know, he did say fire. Okay, we're just going to get you all the way over here. Then we're going to get you to... Okay, why are you behind Cow Cow? Because I don't like that one bit. I need you out of there. Okay, Cow Ren just needs you moving over here. Where there's a good chance saying Faye's going to be there, but you need experience. Oh, and I see Kimiko's decided to go into battle with Guan Ping. Well, I wanted her to go into battle with Guan Yu, but I guess that's good as well. I mean, second we take out Guan Yu, we're just going to go ahead and take out, you know, I mean, not Guan Yu, Guan, Guan Ping will take out Guan Yu then, afterwards. So, let me just go ahead and start things off with a bit of lightning. Or maybe not. Not worth it. Not worth it. But Guan Ping is about to go down. He's about to go to half morale now. So when that happens, I will basically, or not when that happens, so I'll just go. Okay, I'll just go. Oh, they're saying Faye. Huh. I'm wondering. What do I get how in the past saying Faye and then make a beeline to you bay? Screw it. I'm not even going to do it. I'll just go ahead and get Kaorin to face off against Saint Faye. I'll just stick with the double teaming that's going on right now against Guan Ping. Okay, Eugene, I just need you to move over here a little bit more. Oh, there's Lolo. Okay, then. So it looks like actually... The enemy of Yuan will be destroyed. It seems like Shu outnumbers well, actually. Wait, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, no, never mind. There's just, uh, there's just 5 for the moment. I think Mei Xining and Guan and Liu Guigian are going to probably make an appearance and come into the battle eventually. So I'm just going to get Yu Jin to move up here now. Perfect. And Zahun Ba, I'm going to go ahead and get you over here. I'm going to get Yu Bei to the side, if it's possible. There we go. Everything's coming together. So I just better go ahead and just switch to Cow Cow so the battle can actually process. 
Cause, cause basically time stops when you do when you're in the map. I mean, I know it's about what 27 parts in to say that a little too late maybe, but at least I said it. Okay, good. Eugene units join the fight. Perfect. So now the forces should be cut in half. And in a good time, too, because Kakao was running a little low on morale. He wasn't in red yet, but it was a matter of time. And granted, Kabu did have rally. I, I did not want to use that. Okay, so now with Yubei being surrounded, it's going to make things a lot more quicker, which I'm really grateful for. Oh, they're not showing a different cutscene, just the same one. That's just great. It's fake. Fake. That's Cow Cows. Did you face him by yourself, Zugi Leon? The Lord Sorceress prevented me from bringing you his head. Now that you've seen it, do you believe I am loyal to you? Huh. You are incredible. Well, I must get back to my troops. Please excuse me. Goodbye. Okay, so now he's going to be in the battle now. His army's going to show up eventually. So that's just great. So I might not be able to triple teen on him like I want to because Zahon Ba might have to deal with Zulgigion. He should be around there. Okay, Guanpi is almost done for. It's just a matter of time here. Okay, so looks like most of my of you know, Kakao's army is in battle right now, but I'm okay with that. Because as long as you is in battle, not trying to retreat, I'm going to be fine with that. Oh, no. It looks like uh, Yuge Gion was over here behind uh, Yu Jun. Or, her. Yan Yu or something like that. God, it's like I hear their names in the cutscene. It's like I always forget how to pronounce them whenever I'm on in battle. Ugh, that's annoying. It really is. So I'm going to start things off with a, I'm going to wait till they all just stop moving around. Yeah, we're sweet. Ah, um, now the fight is yours. That's enough, then. I'll avenge Guan Ping. I doubt you're going to do that, buddy, but you're gladly you're welcome to try. But uh, anyway, I'll start off with a meteor shower here. And then work my way up, etc., etc. You all get how this works. How much are we taking out here? Look like on here, people. Okay, good. Uh, about a thousand at least. Oh, GRI's learned a special ability, Meteor Shower. Okay, that's good. Okay, and it seems like someone's also went to, to a battle with Guan Yu. Okay, Kimiko's on the move now. Good. She's got some space where she can move by them. I got a feeling that, you know, uh, double teaming Guan Yu is a good idea. And I got a pretty good feeling that Jiang Yao and uh, that woman right there can do a pretty good job of beating him. Okay, Camille, so let's change it up a bit for you. We're just going to move you right over here. And Sahumba, let's get you over here now. So we can just keep on triple teaming you, Bay. Perfect. This might be a short episode here, people. I'm really liking that if it's the case. Okay, Zane Face initiating a battle cry. Can't do anything about that. Just keep on taking down these soldiers. That's all we need to do. Yep. Let's take out these soldiers. That's it. Oh, Zahun Boss Unit joined the fight. About time. Oh, what's going on here? Gentlemen, we will avenge my father. 
Uh, you see your father still alive, technically? I'm just asking here, because I think I saw him, like, last episode. I didn't see any cutscenes where he died or anything like that. Okay, cows ain't using a battle cry. All right. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, there's Mei Shin Ng. About time. About to see her. And there she go doing the same thing we all seen her do before. Then in the intro screen of uh, this video game. Anyone seen them bounce? You know, the ch the breast? Just asking a question, that's all. Okay, so now Mei Shanine's gonna go into battle here. Or about to. Now on her, she's probably gonna go ahead and attack Zahun Ba from behind. Thank God I got Kimiko here to stop all that. So let's just get you over here, young lady. There we go. Okay, you basically only got about, I'm thinking one fourth, or just below half morale. Which is good. And you think Lola will go over there and help out her father, but uh, apparently not. Oh, Conrad needs a little bit of assistance here. Because he's running a little low on morale. Uh, apparently there's still other armies that, you know, are not in battle yet. Let's just, uh, hold on. Do I try to really rally? I'll wait till he gets into the red, then I'll do that. Let me check you out, man. Oh, you also have rally too. Okay, well, it's good to know that these two have rally. I really wish they had magic attacks. Gotta go ahead and take care of this. I'm really grateful Lolo isn't going to try to double team uh, Cal right here with Zayfei. Otherwise, that would have been really, 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 really bad. Yeah, what will take you down, Lube? No, I just need to be patient. That's it, really. Just gotta be patient. That's all. Lube, I will not allow you to die. Thank you all for your help. Ah, oh, we all know why she said that. Cause she has a crush on him. Ever since childhood, I guess. Hold on. Okay, I thought Cal Ren was in the red. Guan Yu is, however, which I'm loving really much. I don't think you're going to do much, Mei Shining. I think you're too late. Yeah, I think you probably should have just stayed there in the beginning of the battle instead of, you know, heading out and such. Uh, I'm trying to control Kimiko here. Can I just please do... Thank you. Okay, Zahou's Ball enter a battle with Mei Shining. As expected. So it's only expected enough. Uh, it's only logical to go ahead and get Kimiko into a battle with Mei Shining. Okay, you base almost finished. About a few more minutes should do it. And just like that, I'll have this done. And another 30 minutes, of course, which is pretty good too. Cause I think we all have short attention spans nowadays. Or maybe that's just me. I don't know. And Yubei's almost done, and I'm shocked Yubei hasn't used any of his magical skills yet. Or he doesn't have any magic, but I mean his special abilities. What's going on there? But I never lose. No! How dare well, you do Guan that? Yu's gone. And so it's his son, finally. Only a matter of time before he leaves, because he's vastly outnumbered. He's only got about under 2,000 soldiers. How much does, uh, let's see, Kalkal's got 4,500, uh, and Eugene has to, so at least, uh, he's being outnumbered about, by 10,000, or, no, by at least 9,000, because together, it's estimate of 10,000 here. I know that's not exactly how much they have, but it is, it, we know it's at least over 10,000, that's the saying. Ok, 
Okay, so let me just speed up the process a little bit by bringing in her to send this squad to battle. No, there's not really much of you base soldiers around, so using any attacks that she has is pretty much pointless. Let me go ahead and end this battle with Cow Cow. I always find it suitable to end a battle with Cow Cow, you know? Especially when it goes up against you bay. I think it's really symbol I think it's really symbolizing. Alright, enemy has been defeated, and fame has been received as well. The enemy general has been defeated. There we go. But of course, the game's gonna continue on and gonna make it look like that Cow Cow never got you, Bay. Which technically, in real life, that actually never happened. Cow Cow couldn't really get you, Bay. He was able to successfully oh. retreat over to Wu. And with, of course, uh, that guy who's the leader of Wu, that battle could start at Chi Bay. Catch Liu Bay. What the? Oh, God. Of course, you run away of all people. So, uh, oh, of course, Sun Quan. That's who I was talking about, Sun Quan. Huh, gonna keep on showing the same cut scenes that we've seen before in your base campaign, huh? Figured as much. I'm here to report that our army is strong and our country prospers from the spoiler better. War. Let's see, forces increased by only three. Really, by only three? Ugh. Oh, supplies have increased by four. That's good, I guess. And military skills, have, military skills have increased by five. All officers who survived the battle have gained experience. Uh, Li and Yao's slight spreads have been advanced to spear, and that's it. Lord, Jia Haodun and Zhang He have just returned from their duty suppressing... I'm liking the guy on the left already just because of what he's wearing. We've completely squashed the uprisings, which have broken out all over the countryside. Now Zhang He and I will reunite with the main forces. Okay, good. Always get, use that extra help. Saving the game now, so I think I'll save over the battle of uh, you. There we go. So, I think you all know what I'm about to do next. So, with that being said, thanks for watching, everyone, and be safe. Till next time.